I'm Bonnie. Welcome to Entropy Paused. One of our goals here is to procure all of our food locally. We're having some friends over for lunch this weekend, and I wanted to make them a completely local meal. Our main course will be soup made from vegetables from our garden. Here's what we did. Since we don't have a root cellar yet, we store our potatoes in the ground here, heavily mulched. So since we have a sunny day and the soil is soft, I'm going to dig up some potatoes for our soup. Aha! And here are some potatoes. Beautiful potatoes just stored in the ground during the cold weather. Here are some early spring greens, wild chives, that we can put in our soup. We are fortunate to have local sources of organic meat. The pork is from the Stompin Creek Farm owned by Joe and Sarah Riley, and the beef comes from Irvin Wagler, a local Mennonite who is also a butcher. We'll include in our soup some tomatoes and beans that we canned from our garden last year. We harvested these butternut squash from our garden last fall. This Waltham variety is a particularly good storer. We've just had these in a paper bag in a cool place in our cabin. We'll start our soup by browning some of the sausage. Now that our meat is thoroughly browned, I've added some of our tomatoes and I'll add some of the beans. And we'll add some of our garden potatoes that I have scrubbed and chopped up into bite-sized pieces. I don't, um, I don't take off the skins. I leave those for uh, fiber and nutrition. Here is the butternut squash that I have peeled and seeded and cut into bite-sized pieces. I'll save the seeds for the chickens. They really enjoy that as a treat this time of year. Next, we'll add some basil, sage, and parsley previously harvested and dried from our garden. Then the final secret ingredient, a splash of our very own entropy paused maple syrup. Then I heat the soup to boiling, turn it down to simmer, and let it cook until the potatoes and squash are soft, usually about 20 minutes. Then I turn it off and let it sit for a couple of hours for the flavors to blend. And here we have our totally local soup, garnished with some of our wild chives. To serve with our soup, we have some delicious bread made locally by Jeff Kessler of Jeff's Breads. We think this dark pumpernickel rye is one of his best. To serve with our bread, we have butter produced on a local farm. For dessert, we'll have some granola from Jeff's Breads and some yogurt from our local dairy farmers. We highly recommend Barbara Kingsolver's book, Animal Vegetable Miracle, in which she describes her family's experience of one year eating locally. Thank you for joining us. Bon appetit. So long from Entropy Paused.